Hello YouTube! Today's video is gonna be about a new system for mapmakers. This system is basically an add-on for my portal system and it makes it easier to build test chambers. This was inspired by Squad Dude's creative helper and allows you to paste in these uh, structures you see here. As always, the first thing you wanna do is uh, turn on the system and then you get these two structures. So we'll start with the cube dispenser. Um, the cube dispenser is a major part in, well, basically just about any portal map you are gonna build because uh, the cubes are just really important for most of the levels. And in order to get the cubes, you most of the time you want uh, these cube dispensers. So I have this preset. And what you're gonna do is you take the spawn egg and you just click on the ceiling wherever you wanna put it and boom, just like this, it's there. For all the structures you can spawn in, uh, I mark these special points which are input, output and to be edited. So if we take a look at the new system we just spawned, uh, we have the input here, which is the red block, and an output here. And also we have two things we can edit. So let's start with the input. The input is quite uh, simple. You just flick this lever or apply any other redstone signal to this block and it will either start, uh, well, start the clock or stop it. So if we start the clock, we can see uh, that one cube has already been spawned in. The reason why this cube is not falling down is because I don't have the portal system in this world yet, but uh, it should work perfectly fine. So the next thing we are going to take a look at are these two command blocks we can edit. Uh, the, the upper one states that we should edit the last number to be unique for this test chamber. So currently the last number here is a 1, and since we only have one uh, of these cube dispensers it doesn't really matter. But if we now uh, for example extend the ceiling because we want uh, two cubes in one test chamber and then we get another one of these spawn eggs. So now we can obviously spawn another one of these cube dispensers and since the cubes they spawn are linked to the dispensers they come from we should edit the second uh, one uh, and just put in a 2 or whatever other number you will choose. Then for the lower command block we have to edit the two scores to match the number you chose above. So in this example we chose a 2 for the command block above so we have to change both these uh, scores here to 2 as well uh, like this. Um, then we can turn on the second one and now what this will do is whenever uh, the cube from this first cube dispenser dies, for example in an emancipation grid, uh, this cube dispenser will automatically spawn a new one and same goes for the second one. Uh, to show this working I just imported the portal system over here and I turned on the cubes, so as we can see, both of the cubes we spawned in earlier fell down. Uh, what we can do now is just take one of them and destroy it in a material emancipation grid. And as we can see, a new cube has already been spawned in. Um, we can just do this again, and whenever we destroy the cube, uh, it will spawn a new one. And since we changed the numbers in the second one, in the second cube dispenser, uh, they, uh, the two will not interfere with each other and they just work perfectly. The very last thing uh, to say about these is the output. Well, it just outputs a signal whenever uh, a cube is spawned. We can just, I can just demonstrate this by adding a command block here and now whenever I destroy this cube it will spawn a new one and say hi.
Now that we got the first structure figured out, uh, we can take a look at the light bridge spawner. This is used to spawn in the main light bridges uh, for your test chamber. So again, we can just give us the spawn egg and spawn in the circuit. Just like in the other circuit, we can see we have an input and we have command blocks we can edit. Uh, but this circuit doesn't have an output. Let's uh, just start with the demonstration. We just get some buttons and put them on the uh, inputs and just press them. The left button is to spawn a light bridge, uh, which is also stated here. And the other one is to remove it again, which is stated here. In order to change the direction now, we should go over to these two command blocks by the edit, di edit the direction sign. And now we get to figure out which way we want the light bridge to go in. So let's just choose this direction. Then we press F3 and look at this line here. So currently we want the light bridge to go south, uh, which is towards positive Z. So we keep the positive Z in mind and uh, now we just look at these command blocks. Um, before it was going uh, towards the east, which is positive X. Now we want to change this and uh, we want it to go positive Z. So we just do it just like this. Uh, if we, for example, wanted it to go uh, towards the negative x, we would put a minus one here. But we want to, uh, we want the light bridges to go towards the positive z. So we just do it like this. So again, the coordinates are like x, y, and z in that order. So let's just put a one in here. Now we can try it again, and this time the light bridge should go this way, which it does. And the removal should also work, which it also does. The second thing we can change is the starting point uh, for the light bridges. Currently it is starting right where this yellow block is, but in your map you probably want it to start somewhere else. Uh, so let's assume we want the light bridge to start right where this block is. Then we again uh, press F3, but uh, this time we are looking at the very bottom uh, line. And uh, this says that we are looking at this coordinates. Uh, so we just write these down, uh, minus 47. Uh, 57 and minus 731. So then we take these coordinates and go to these command blocks we can edit. We just go to the very beginning and where there are these relative coordinates right now, we just change those to the coordinates which we wrote down just uh, earlier. So we put those coordinates in here, 7, 3, 1, and then we put the same coordinates in over here. So again, minus 74, 57, and minus 731. So now, uh, actually nothing will happen because uh, what it's trying to do is spawn a light bridge right, uh, right where this block is and uh, it can't, it obviously can spawn a light bridge within a wall or within a block so we just remove the block and if we now try it again it will summon the light bridge right at those coordinates and the removal also should work quite fine the last thing I wanted to mention about these circuits is when you are using them in a map, you gotta always consider lag to be an important factor. 
since these uh, systems both use clocks, uh, there's some interesting facts about you, those. The right system here, the Lightbridge spawner, uh, turns itself off uh, when it's not needed, so you don't have to worry about any uh, lag from this one. But the cube spawner has a clock that is turned manually on or off, so you should just turn all of these off by default and just turn them on when the player enters your test chamber so that way you have less clocks running at the same time and therefore the whole map will just work better other than that uh, that's all i have to say about the system uh, for now i hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any su suggestions what else i could add besides the cube dispenser and the light bridge spawner just leave me some comments on what i should add and have fun and build some cool maps with this